Hello and welcome to another itcoldattack.co.uk uh, video. Uh, today I'm in one of my favourite games, Elite Dangerous. And I'm going to show you how to make a lot of money. Uh, so throughout the history of the game, uh, since it released, there's always been fast money making methods. Um, some, there's sort of a grey area on exploiting the game. Um, and frontier developments have usually taken a negative view on them and although players are never stopped from doing them each mo new money making method has eventually been uh, nerfed into oblivion um, so what well, originally there was running um, smuggling missions from Rubigo and after that there was hauling poop long range from Sothis uh, most recently there were uh, stacking skimmer missions or data scan missions uh, and they would net you a lot of money um, and I'm going to show you today uh, the latest method that I'm aware of that currently works makes me a lot of money has made me a lot of money um, no doubt at some point in the future it will be nerfed as well but for now if you want to get rich in this game quickly I think this is the way to do it so, you're taking passenger missions. First thing I should uh, talk about is the fact that, uh, like with any sort of mission, your reputation and your rank affect payout. So, I'm currently, uh, we're in an empire system, I'm currently allied with the empire, I'm also allied with all the minor factions in this system. Both those things will net me a higher payout. Uh, secondly, uh, my exploration rank, which is what is affected by passenger missions, uh, is also quite high. Uh, Pathfinder level, and as you can see, I'm nearly at the next rank. So I think it's one away from them being Tycoon. Not Tycoon, different game. I've just installed uh, the Tycoon, Rollercoaster Tycoon on my phone, I'm thinking of that. Uh, not Tycoon, Elite level. Um, uh, and that also affects the payout. Uh, that you get. So, first things first, I'm in an anaconda. Obviously you can do this in a smaller ship, you'll have less cabins, you'll make a little bit less money. But uh, I'm in an anaconda. I'm carrying, I think, nine cabins, uh, ranging from business, six, six slot business cabins, uh, a few uh, 12 slot firsts, and uh, six slot first class cabins. Can't carry luxury. They're limited to ships like the Beluga Liner. Um, I don't bother with economy class cabins. If I take an economy passenger mission, I just uh, give them a free upgrade into a better cabin. So, where do you need to go? You need to go to Quince. Quince has two stations you can dock at. Both will take ships like the Anaconda. They've both got large landing pads. Um, you want the second station a bit further away from the uh, Star. It's Jeffrey's High, so you want to go to Quince and dock at Jeffrey's High. Uh, you can buy here passenger cabins. I did most of my outfitting here, so there's absolutely no need to come prepared if you don't want to. Uh, it's quite a long way away from uh, the rest of the bubble, um, so uh, I threw out with more fuel tanks and stuff like that uh, and lightened my road to get a better jump range to get here and then outfitted once I was here. So, um, because of my rank, I'm not taking any two road paid missions if I can help it. I'm trying to go for 700,000 as a minimum. And I've seen missions just over a million credit payout. So, uh, the beauty of this uh, current money making technique is that when you go to uh, this current station, Jeffrey's High. Uh, this planet it's orbiting also has the beacon for the passenger missions, which is Galen's Ascension. So it's a really short trip. The other really nice thing about this is that in this system, there's also Quint's Visitor Beacon, which is out uh, nearer to the star. However, when you take a mission for Quint's Visitor Beacon, and you go to Galen's Ascension, the mission 
for Quinn's visit to Beacon will be completed at Galen's Ascension. So you only have to go to the one location. You can take two types of mission, but you only have to go to one location to complete them. Completely speeds up the process and obviously doubles the number of missions you can take so you can make more money. So there's no missions currently here really uh, at the level I want a power up for. And this is the slowest bit, especially if you're being a picky. Uh, it does involve mode switching, which you don't have to do, completely optional. I like it. Um, I like making money, to be honest. I find uh, I like this game a lot, it's one of my favourite games. I play it more than anything else. But I like flying my ships, I like getting to the ship I want. I like having enough money in the bank to not worry about rebuys. I don't find any of that fun. I don't find grinding little amounts of credits fun. I want to spend time doing combat or engineering my ship. So I like a money, quick money making method so that I can cut out that grind. Um, I also don't play a lot. I've got a family, I've got a kid, dog, all that stuff full-time job so I don't have a lot of time to play so I don't want to spend it messing around slowly making money <coughs> oh, you have to excuse me if I cough a little bit today I'm under the weather right. there. so yeah I'm happy to mode switch and I'm happy to make money as quickly as possible for me this isn't the fun bit of the game I know for some people it is and some people in particularly FDEV don't seem to want you to get rich quick but you know we're meant to be blazing our own trail here and doing what we want in this uh, sandbox game so why not I think just because some do it doesn't mean everyone has to alright not coming up looking on the missions oh there we go 980,000 cabin Another one. <coughs> uh, some people uh, I've read online won't take one wanted passengers. Uh, there is the risk with a wanted passenger that if you get scanned you'll fail the mission or even get attacked. Personally, uh, I've only been scanned and attacked a couple of times and that was usually through my own stupidity. Um, by far and away, mostly I've been fine. So I don't worry about it. I'll take anyone that's willing to pay. Of course, I find to honest, the uh, wanted passengers tend to pay a bit more. So you'll probably spend more time picking the right missions uh, than you will uh, actually doing the run. I'm nearly at 152 million. Been toying with the idea of uh, ending up with a cutter. Quite like the cutter. I think it's a sexy ship. And uh, I like its shield tanking ability. I think it's got uh, more shield health than just about any other ship in the game. If not the most. Um, but you're talking that like, apart from having to obviously get the rank to unlock it, um, you're talking about a billion credits, I think, to outfit one. Which is just insane. Uh, one of the other nice advantages of doing these missions, uh, you are in Empire controlled space, so you will be gaining uh, rank. Um, I haven't, the system was in war, and I hadn't seen a rank up mission here whilst it was. Hopefully now it's out of uh, conflict there will be one to pop up but obviously your rank stacks doesn't it for those missions even when it's 100% it carries on 
ticking up uh, behind the scenes. So hopefully I'll gain enough rank uh, by the time I've also got the money. Um, and also, uh, whilst doing the missions, because they're passing the missions, you do gain exploration rank, uh, which is quite nice. So, you know, yeah, something for everybody. For the uh, sake of demonstration, I'll speed this up a bit and just take anything that's paying. Still taking that, it's 500,000 credit power there. Still though, I'm still going to make a million. Uh, I do like to do this in solo. Um, I have run, done a few runs in open. Um, come up against two problems. One uh, was, I won't call them griefers because it's allowed in this game, but there were um, players attacking the ships at the beacon. Um, I've only seen that once. And I was in this anaconda and they were in a vulture, uh, so it wasn't really a problem, although I did attack and they did more damage to me than I did to them before I ran off. Um, uh, second problem is the other day I was coming into dock, got assigned my landing pad, uh, only to discover that when I got into the station the pad was occupied by an NPC beluga. Uh, not ideal, so I couldn't land. Uh, and that's a bug I've only experienced in open mode. Never had it in solo, so don't know what's going on there. So, anyway, we've got our missions. All full of people, more or less. <coughs> um, I say paying out fairly high. I've not been as picky as I normally am, just so that I can demonstrate what's going on. I'm going to switch over to solo. And then we'll go and do the actual mission. And you'll see just how easy it is. Right, go, go, go. So I've got illegal passengers. I don't really want to get scanned. I'll do our best to avoid it. So it's only really been a problem when I've messed up coming into land and then I've been scanned. So if I've missed the uh, slot and had to manoeuvre back in and taking longer to do that, then I've been scanned. Landing coupler disengaged. Please observe safe speeds when traversing the docking bay. I don't know if it helps, but I like to uh, pop a heat sink because I'm leaving it. I'm lined up. Targets. And there you see we just come out of the station. There's the Earthlight World we're orbiting. There's Gaming's Ascension. Not very far away at all. So if I've got any missions from Quinn's Visitor Beacon, they'll also be completed at Galen's Ascension. Sometimes the planet's in the way a little bit and slows things down slightly, but... Uh, Never really a problem. Do you think the graphics these days they've got running on the planet are just incredible? So hope one day get to land on the planet like that. I think, uh, I think I almost, you know, I think maybe I'd like to be able to land on an Earth-like world more than I'd like to have space legs. Maybe. I like that they're walking around too. <coughs> right. Beacon scanned. Mission complete.
Uh, I don't know if there's a better way to make money at the moment. This is the one I'm aware of. Uh, and it's making me a lot pretty quickly, so I'm happy with it. If you do have a better method, feel free to let me know. Uh, I say no doubt this will at some point be nerfed. Um, I'm really surprised. That it must be a bug, I guess, um, that allows you to complete both missions at the one location. Um, and I'm really surprised that hasn't been fixed uh, yet. Um, even if it was, though, it wouldn't be that much of a hardship to fly to the uh, other location, to Quint's Visitor Beacon. Um, we'll see. Um, I we imagine... I don't know if it worked the same way, but I'd have thought FDev might uh, limit the number of these missions you can take to three, the same way they've done with the skimmer missions, but I don't know. <coughs> it doesn't really seem fair to do that when you can fit more than three passenger cabins, but I think that'd be the obvious way to recurve, curb this way of um, making money. So, what do you think? The lazy Delta Echo. The Echo. The Echo. The Echo. The Echo. The Echo. The I would have preferred a smooth entry since this is going to be seen by the world. But never mind. I'm sure you will be very generous comments. At the end of the day, it's not about how it's done, it's not the end result. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, some missions you get cargo rewards. I just dump it. Can't be bothered to sell it. Credits for Gagan's Ascension, they do exist. There we go, we've jumped from 152 near damage to 158 and a half, if you like. I don't think that's bad for one run, um, especially when I wasn't really concentrating on picking up the best paying missions. Easy peasy. Uh, so, that's how I think you should make money quickly in Elite Dangerous. Hope you've enjoyed the video, hope it's been helpful, and uh, I'll see you out in the space. Thank you very much.